Today, we'll be solving Leet Code 76, Minimum Window Subs Train. We begin by importing counter from the collections module. Counter will help us count the characters in string T. Next, we define our function called min window, which takes S and T as inputs. Inside, the very first step is to check if T is longer than S. If that is true, then it is impossible for S to contain all the characters of T, so we immediately return an empty string. Then, we create a variable called target, and set it equal to counter of T. This gives us a dictionary where each character in T is a key, and its value is how many times it appears. Next, we create another dictionary called window, which we will use to keep track of the counts of characters inside our current sliding window of S. We also create two integer variables, have and need. Have starts at zero, and need is set equal to the length of target. Have will track how many unique characters in our window currently meet the required count, while need tells us how many we need to satisfy in total. Then, we create two pointers, left and right, both starting at zero. These represent the boundaries of our sliding window. We also create a result variable, which will store the best window we find. Let's store it as a list containing two numbers, negative one and negative one. That means initially we have no valid window. We also create a variable called result length and set it equal to infinity, because at the beginning, we have not found any valid window yet. Now we move into the main loop. We use a for loop where write goes through every index in the string s. For each step, we add the current character to our window dictionary. If that character count now matches what is required in the target dictionary, then we increase have by 1. Next, while have is equal to need, that means our current window is valid, so we try to shrink it from the left side. Inside this while loop, we check if the current window is smaller than our best result so far. If it is, we update result and result length. Then, we remove the character at index left from the window, since we are moving the left boundary forward. If that character was in the target dictionary, and now its count in the window is less than what is required, we decrease have by 1, because our window no longer fully satisfies that character. Finally, we increase left by 1 to continue shrinking. Once the while loop finishes, we go back to expanding with the right pointer until we finish scanning the entire string. At the very end, if result length is still infinity, that means we never found a valid window, so we return an empty string. Otherwise, we return s sliced from result at index 0 to result at index 1 plus 1.